We are in an organic lion's mane farm. And what I have here is a lion's mane uh, myceliated block and a lion's mane fruit body. And what I want to talk about now is the difference between the lion's mane fruit body and the mycelium. These are fundamentally different parts of the organism. You can imagine the mycelium as a kind of like the vegetal form, the root form, the main body of the organism. And this is the fruit body. This is the spore producing part of the organism, the reproductive organ of the organism. And both of these can be used as products. Uh, this substrate is a combination of grain and um, a wood and grain hulls to add nutrients. Can you see that? When you are using a mycelium product, you're also consuming the uh, substrate that it is grown on. Whereas the fruit body is a pure form of the organism. There's no grain inside. There's no substrate inside the mushroom. So this... Oh, it substrate. smells delicious. Really? Yeah, still, still smells fresh. There's the mycelium on the outside. It's white. And there's the substrate. Right, you can't separate the mycelium from the substrate. It's like they've become one thing. In many cases, people call it uh, fermentation. In fact, there are products that are based on this kind of process, like tempeh, where you eat the substrate and the mycelium together. So if you're using a mycelium product, you really want to make sure that your substrate is amazing as well. Another difference are the chemical constituents of each part of this. So the mycelium will actually have higher concentrations of arenaceans, but when that uh, when the mushroom is produced by the mycelium, those arenaceans are transferred into the fruit body and they turn into a compound we call heracinones, which are similar qualities as the arenaceans. What you want from a high quality lion's mane product is a little bit of both of these uh, parts of the organism. Uh, you want those arenaceans from the mycelium and you want the heracinones from the fruit body. You also want the beta-glucans, which are uh, the anti-inflammatories and the immunomodulators that are trapped inside the cell wall of the mushroom. And in order to access those beta-glucans, you need to break the cell wall and release those compounds and make them bioavailable. And really, the whole thing is good for you. Uh, there's soluble fiber, there's insoluble fiber, there's active compounds and uh, there's a lot of delicious flavors involved as well. 